I guess we'll just go straight to questions. Uh, you had a phenomenal defensive first quarter, holding them to four points. Um, what was the key to shutting them down early? Well, the, the girls always set game goals before the games, and one of them was to have a competitive mindset uh, directly in, in regards to their one-on-one -on -one defense. They have some really good one-on-one -on -one players. The two top are, you know, Rihanna Lewis, who she's, as you can see, she kind of wowed the crowd a couple of times with her one-on-one -on -one moves. And then number 21, their senior post player. So we knew that containing them and playing good one-on-one -on -one defense was important because we were trying as best we could to take away their three-point shots. We didn't do that later, but I do believe it was our kids' mindset going into the game that this, this had to be a good defensive game for us. The second half, Ali Trani really jumped out to me. It seemed like she kind of took that senior mentality and just did what she had to do to help win the game. What did you see from her? Well, at, at halftime, I challenged the kids that you know someone has to step forward because I was challenging them during the first half that everybody need, needed to step up. But I just asked, can one person please step forward and then we'll get on your back. You know, set the tone, lead the charge. And Allie did that. It's, it's not a surprise. Jessica Wall is having a tough night in terms of being able to get open. I thought they did a good job of face guarding her and making her catches really tough. But Allie just made some really big plays, tough plays uh, down the stretch and, and really inspired us, I thought, and gave us the energy we needed. Uh -oh. What do you think about your team's guts holding on to the lead even as they made that lead charge? I, we all, we've shown that we're, we're gritty at times. You know, I'd love to be more consistently gritty early on in the games. And then, you know, if you get a 14-point lead, hold on to it. But good point. I mean, there's a lot of teams that would just crumble right there, you know, knowing that they gave up a big lead. So I, I was uh, very pleased with that. This was a must-win situation for us. I mean, we cannot drop this game at home with just three games remaining. We've got to protect home court. You've got to get the home wins in the league. And we've got some tough ones coming up. You kind of segue into my last question. With the Big South Tournament right over the, the horizon, what do you need to see from this team? And how, how important is the stretch, but how important is it to just take it one game at a time? We certainly have to take it one game at, the t one game at a time, and we have to take care of the basketball. I thought we did a tremendous job at Longwood. That was our Tuesday win, and we only had eight turnovers. Tonight it was 20. And Upstate was getting after us, but we have to get shots on every possession. And then just continue to rebound out rebounding by 19 was huge today, and defend. If we can, if we can do those three things down the stretch, I think that you know, with the parity in the league, anything can happen. It doesn't matter if you're the most talented team on paper. We just have to be the most talented team, uh, the best team that day of the game. I'm good. All right. Thank